Hey YouTube, Justin and Cherish here. Uh, here we are on day three. Uh, we actually put the fence up first all the way around, as you can see. Down to there and all down to the back side and then we came back and put it right here. Just on the edge right there. And then I'm going to have the other wire, which is going to be the chicken wire, just around this side right here. So I can put it on bottom and top, pretty much fill this whole side where the chickens are going to be up with the chicken wire be a lot cheaper and plus I'm gonna have extra strong fence for other things I need which I got uh, I probably got about another I don't know maybe 30 40 foot left there so but that's it we uh, pretty much box this hole in this side right here put the plywood up for the goats as you can see inside down there uh, put the gate on I use the gate that came with the fence like we got from Chatch Supply. And all you do is just lift it up right here. Just like that. And then pull it back to the fence. And you just come in here. And I'm going to have a door built right here so my goats can get in and out. And probably put me like a little doggy door on bottom or something like that. So they can come in and out. But here it is. Got it all closed off. They can come in here and I can hang me a heat lamp if I want to during the winter from the rafter up here. They got some good little area to lay down in there and sleep or get out of the weather, whatever they need to do. And then uh, later on I'm going to take, probably the next day or so, probably this weekend, I'm going to take and primer all this uh, plywood up and paint it, get it good and weatherproof. And then here, we pretty much got all our boards up. I think we've done that in my last video. Uh, that board we're running across down there is going to be the roost. Here you can see there. And that way all they got to do is just hop from the roost, which is this board here. And then hop in there into their chicken box. And that's the chicken box we put on there today. We took some plywood and stapled it together with a staple gun. And some. Uh, I had some liquid nail. I glued it together. I put some hinges all the way across there. All you gotta do is lift it up and reach down there and get your chicken eggs. I'm only gonna put about six chickens in there and that'll be about it. Uh, another thing you might wanna do is put you uh, some little pieces of wood on the edge. That way the water won't go underneath that lid and then drip back down into your box. So that's why we put the little pieces of wood down through there. That's one tip you might wanna do if you uh, build your chicken box like that. But that's it. Uh, I'll take another video on day four. Hopefully day four we'll finish this thing up. We'll have the chicken wire on. Uh, I'm going to have to go in here. As you can see, I got a big gap underneath that board there. Got a pretty good size gap right there. I'm actually going to take, throw a good bit of dirt in there and put some railroad tie in there as well to help hold the dirt in place. And then I'm going to take some chain link fence and put it all the way across the bottom there. That way uh, nothing like weasels or anything like that can dig underneath that board there and then get my chickens so I'm gonna take some fence and pretty much cover the whole ground out there and then I'm gonna take some more dirt and pile it in there and that'll be done all right guys well if you want to know anything else you got any questions or anything just leave me a comment and uh, I will answer them as best as I can oh that's another thing we done too put our uh, top piece piece of metal up there screwed it to it so that's pretty much done Alright guys, I'll uh, take another video from day four and you'll get to learn how to do some more. Have a good one.